Hello and welcome back to Sweden is not overpowered. We are still kind of just waiting for um, something to happen. We need to expand down into this area here. Uh, we have a problem with Commonwealth and Muscovy guaranteeing um, or they're supporting Riga's independence, which really sucks. So I can't annex them right now. I should have started that before, but I didn't. It really sucks right now. Um, we're gonna go Diplotech, just because it's it's really nice. Um, is there anything? We are a feudal monarchy right now. So we gain some income from vassals, which is not really. Um, really interesting. Uh, I would like to go to this one. Administrative monarchy. Which is the one we're going to unlock next. That might actually be worth it for the autonomy um, decrease. Let's see, we have autonomy here. Like, we don't have a ton of autonomy. Most of the 25s are from um, where our states are. But anyway, <clears throat> so we need to either, we need to expand down into this area here. Um, Commonwealth is fucking in the way. And um, Austria, which is our ally, we really need Austria, by the way. Um, let's see, disaster. Okay, we need. Interesting. So we need 90% religious unity. Looks like that's going to take some time. Um, but I really, really need... I need more money right now. More money would be awesome. But I'm, I'm just kind of waiting for either Austria to get occupied and not join anything. Um, ah, nice. That That's going to give us some extra money. Really nice. Uh, local trade power, local tax modifier. I think tax it, actually. Um, Friesland joins the Republic. Oh, Netherlands. Are these guys still in a war with Spain? Yes. Burgundy is going to get really, really fucked. Um... We are improving relations with Spain, but we're not going to be able to secure that alliance either. Um, So we can spend some money. I'm gonna lose the prestige. I don't really care about anything else. I kind of want the money so I can build more money generating stuff for us. Um, diplomatic relations. 
No, we don't need that. Let's get the um, Diplo power. Who are my rivals again? England, Muscovy, Commonwealth. Could attack Muscovy. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. They are in supporting the independence of Riga. I mean, how how easy would it be to roll over Muscovy? Thirty-four thousand. That would probably be extremely easy. Let's uh, let's move our army up here. We have some CBs on this guy. It's gonna. We can give uh, Novgorod some territory extra. Uh, oh, our great advisor that was uh, having an affair with our queen consort died. Tax modifier is tempting. Really, really is. Don't do I need unrest? No, I don't. Go for a tax modifier, please. It's that's uh, some money for sure. So Muscovy. Um, Take core. Confirm. Let's see. Our infantry should be worth way more than theirs, so it shouldn't really be a problem. We should crush this army pretty bad. That was a stack wipe, lol. Really nice. So they're attacking now. That was all, was that also a stack wipe? Jesus Christ. Um, let's go help those guys. Stack wipe that as well. <coughs> Should be an easy stack wipe. Yes. <coughs> well, this looks like a really easy war for me. Um. I'm definitely going to humiliate you. Because, you know, I, I want the power. The thing is, what can we do more? We can give Novgorod something like that. That wouldn't be too bad. 
that's that's gonna require a lot of um, victory points. But I mean, they have eight thousand men left now. Jesus Christ, we stack wiped them so quickly. Oh my God, that was um, that was certainly interesting. Um, I'm gonna go with morale of armies. Not that we really need it, but still. Unfortunately, Riga is... Um, they're being bitches right now. So they're not helping, which is a slight problem. Wow. Spy Master. Spy Network Construction. Which is what we have right now. But he's kind of cheap, but no thank you. Did they lose both of those battles as well? I guess they did. It's not going well for these guys, that's for sure. Oh, we're gaining a lot of admin stuff. I'm gonna change government now. Don't really care about that. That's going to give us more money, I think. We gain five right now. Should give us more. Uh, it did. But spoils of war are um, kind of skewing, skewing the, um, the income right now. Peace offer from Tver. What, what is their treaty with Muscovy? I don't want that. Actually, I'm happy with like this. If you're not allied to Muscovy, I think Commonwealth will just grab that state immediately. <clears throat> oh no, Spain rivaled us now. Jesus Christ, that sucks. I'm gonna go for a military tech um, as the next one. We are also going to build... Um, let's see, 76... Or 0 0.76, we're gonna build that. Stack wipe you. <coughs> Hopefully we can end this war pretty quickly and efficiently. There, um... There is a possible downside to doing this. That is, M Muscovy is going to be um, real easy prey. Uh, let's transfer to Novgorod. Transfer to Novgorod. Could do that. That would probably be. So we we're gaining. We're definitely gaining some some development from that. 
Novgorod don't, doesn't have that many good provinces right now. So possibly might make them more prone to um or make make might make them build more and better buildings or something. Hopefully, you can always hope. Interesting. That fort is kind of annoying. So 80% right now. Let's just transfer these over to Novgorod and see. Uh, you're accepting that now. 52 power projection. That's going to be really yummy for me. Thank you. You're just going to go back here to Denmark. And you're going to go back like there. We can probably mothball all forts. And bring down army maintenance. Well, Muscovy stopped supporting their independence now. Now we just need to screw over Commonwealth at some point. Um, Austria, I'm going to improve my relations with you. Uh, they are still the emperor. I'm not sure how uh, how big of a war that's gonna break out there, and who's gonna lose. I mean, Commonwealth is such a heavy puncher. Not sure how much troops they have right now. 60,000 troops. If Ottomans attacked Commonwealth, you know, that would be interesting. That's 610%. That's insane. We are right now kind of steady in the fifth place for uh, for great powers it's really nice we have uh, 500 development which is about half of Spain. Spain is insane. Look, look at this. Spain is so big. I don't know how to even deal with that right now. And apparently, um, no rival. Don't really want to select Spain as a rival. It's not good for me, but I can't really do anything. Um, costly trade embargoes. So printing press is spreading like kind of quickly. I think it's going to explode here at some point. After that, it's global trade. 
but that's another 40 years uh, away. But we are making so much money right now. Question is, would it be worth? It's 22 for these. Thirty three for that one. I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to go and do some of these that are okay. Plus nine is good, plus ten. Oh, there's one with plus twelve as, uh, also. It was this one, right? Yes. <clears throat> I mean, plus 12 is really, really good. Um, oh, nice. We got 97 power projection. That's going to help a lot. I'm wondering, though... I should probably. Oh no, the spy master died. <sighs> Not gonna get that. We need to raise army maintenance for that. Oh, if you get here. 27th of December. Yeah, I can join. Kind of. You know, the coward's way. But I, I did help. I did help. Uh, we can't really... Oh, trade efficiency, 10%. That's nice. That's really good. Um, we're going for military tech now. We're going from Pedero, which is... It has two attack ones. I think we're going to go with large iron cast. Then we should probably knock out another Diplo idea. Liberty Desire is still 10%. You know. Jesus Christ, this is not gonna go well. Not even sure they're gonna help me. Okay. Well, I guess we kind of baited them into it. <laughs> That's fine. Ooh. End of religious turmoil. Really good. That is really good. Um... Oh, that's fine. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what's going to happen. Really wish something would happen down there now. So let's knock out Diplo. Okay, apparently we are so far behind on Diplo. We 
What else? We were uh, like improving relations with these guys. And it's like, oh, 45. Really, don't really want to lose. Lose that. Did that help at all? You know, slightly. interesting because you know all the guys that I want to fight with are great powers now and I'm kind of big as well it's just that they're really really big how much would it cost to annex these guys Where is Annex? I can't find it. Find it. No, I can't because they're a marsh. Interesting, right? I forgot about that. Can we do anything? Support rebels, maybe? That would be more interesting. I'm kind of prepared to try this. I've never supported rebels, really. Costly trade embargoes. Let's revoke embargo, please. Conversion successful. Let's get that one. You can do that. Production efficiency should result in even more money for me. Go. We'll see if something happens. At least it's gonna des destabilize the um, the Commonwealth. I mean, if they get if they really get that big of an uprising, it's gonna be a huge problem for them. Um, Which is nice. As I said before, I have never tried the uh, support rebels thing. So I have no clue if and how it works. I'm also curious though. Before we end this episode. Let's activate all forts. And go up to full army maintenance. Because I think we have some room 
to uh, to build some new units right now. I'm not sure exactly what they should be. We're making about nine ducats right now. Maybe we can afford like Let's start with 10,000 infantry and see where we end up money-wise after that. Let's gather round, guys. Because our infantry is really, really good. So we're at about seven, seven ducats, 7.59. So, and we have uh, a lot of fort uh, or a uh, force limit left. So let's add the cavalry. Absent mark. Mer Oh, let's lose that. That's no biggie. Actually, I'm going to use that loan to build two cannons. No, we're going to go. We're going to go all out. We're going to create another 16 stack here. We should be able to afford that. No problem. There should be some money over. And we, I mean, we're gaining a 50% increase in, in army strength from, from doing this. So I think there's, um, I mean, we can afford this. We can definitely afford this. Go. Let's see, after this month, it's time to end the episode and we'll see how well off we are financially. So we're making five ducats, that's terrific. That's with all forts and full maintenance. What exactly happened now? Commonwealth just wait, 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 wait. Did that war just bro break out right now? Let Gallon, where is that? Oh, really? Really, really, really? Well, we are going up to full maintenance again. And activate all forts. Do we have anything over here? No, we don't. Okay, this is really interesting. We are at a slight, slight advantage in everything. I'm going to try and take my navy off. Blockade here. Um, there, we're definitely going over here with all our units to uh, to concentrate our efforts. Gonna go stand over there. 
we have no uh, no leader but that's better we're gonna crush their navy good and the blockade is 82 percent we can't blockade over here obviously <clears throat> They have extremely big stacks over here, though. But I mean, that should mean that this is going to be easier for Austria. Ha! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> really? Ha ha ha. Okay, Commonwealth, I think you're pretty fucked, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a terrible mistake. This is a terrible mistake, Commonwealth. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Can, can I even could could I even take that not really interested in humiliating them right now but I need to take a bunch of territory from them wow Commonwealth Jesus Christ anyway we need to end the episode right now um Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.